This is my 2007.3 liter Power Stroke. It has 490,000 miles on it, and over the last two weeks, we raced it over 20 times. We're gonna be showing you guys the aftermath of what exactly happened after racing this thing 20 times in one week. We're gonna be changing the oil, the fuel filters, and the oil filter, and showing you guys what it looks like. Also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna be talking about exactly what went wrong and what broke on the 7.3 Power Stroke over the course of this last two weeks. But first, we gotta go to Walmart and pick up the fuel filter, oil filter, and oil, so I'll see you guys at Walmart. All right guys, we are at Wally World and we are actually going to be buying the oil here. I'm also gonna be getting a fuel filter and a oil filter. I don't think the fuel filter needs to be changed just because I changed it recently. The oil filter definitely does need to be changed. So we're gonna get both of those. Also guys, if you like the seven dot tree hats, you like the Power Stroke Central shirts, you guys can get them down in the description down below. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the oil. All right, filter. Walmart brand right here. It's usually the cheapest and it's motor oil, so it'll get the job done. Now we're gonna go with just the gallon ones because the two gallons are super heavy and they're hard to pour in. My truck actually takes 16 quarts equals out to four gallons total, but they only got three here, so we're gonna have to get two of these. How's it going, sir? All right. Good. Do y'all have fuel filters here? No, sir. No? Okay. Well, I'll just have to get it somewhere else. Thank you. I'm just gonna go ahead and get one two gallon and then we'll do two of the other ones. Let's go ahead and go back home and we'll get into the oil change. I can just put them up here. It was $68.35 for my oil here. I know a lot of people that change these 7.3 oils and take it to a shop, it's usually about $150. You're gonna save 50% if you change it yourself at home. Now it is a little bit of hassle and kind of a pain in the ass to change the oil, but once you do do it, I mean, it's what, an hour and a half and you save about 75 to $100, so it's definitely worth it. We also have the Thieves Will Be Shot stickers in the store. You can pick them up. I hate thieves, so we're going in. We are back at the house now and we are going to be changing the oil here. I'm gonna be showing you guys what it looks like. Got the new hat on, 16 quarts here. Comes out to four gallons total. I also got the oil filter here. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to, it's gonna be kind of also a how-to video on the, how to change the oil on the 7.3 Power Stroke. Cause I know a lot of you guys got one and you might be looking at it. Let's go ahead and get into it here. Gonna watch out here just because it's so hot under here cause I just drove it so far. Got our breaker bar and we're gonna pop that thing off. Okay. Here comes the moment of truth. Shit, Ooh. All right, we got the gloves fucked, but I am, it's kind of coming out fast. Pouring out of there, guys. Looks a little bit dark. I was a little bit mistaken. It only had 4,000 miles on this oil, so we are changing it right on time. I like to change it between three and five, so we're changing it right on time. I'm also gonna be changing that oil filter up there, too. All right, oil's pretty much drained. Cool here, we got this cool little clamper deal. Works great for this, guys. I'm just gonna let, let it drip a little bit, guys. You can see right there, it's dripping now. Drip all out of there, and then I'll pull it on down. As you're draining the, as you're draining the, your main oil, you wanna go ahead and drain your oil filter as well. And once that's kind of like done draining, then we'll pull it off so we don't get oil everywhere. And then once we're done pulling that off, we'll go lube up the other one and put the other one on there. As you guys can see, it's draining nicely right into our big old pan here. I think this pan holds 30 quarts or something like that. We're gonna get this oil filter off. I'm gonna put the plug back in. Oil filter is pretty well drained here. I'm not gonna wait any longer. Oh, we got it, we got it though, with minimal spillage. Our other oil filter, I'm gonna get it all lubed up, put the oil in it, and then we'll stick it up in there in the filter. We are also gonna put the plug back in there before we do that, so got our plug. Just gonna take it with my fingers here. Put it up in there, oh, not too, too tight, guys. Just nice and nice and snug. And basically be taking that out, FL1995A. I'm gonna take my gallon here, just gonna fill it up and lube up the outside here. Now we're gonna do here, fill this guy up. All right, that should be good. Let's seal a little bit. Now I'm gonna take it back up under there and put the filter on. Gotta find the right groove. All right, we got it on there now, guys. Just spin spinning on there pretty easy. I like to use brake parts cleaner to clean out. <laughs> got a little in my mouth there. Yeah, once it's clean, put it up in there and just fill it up. This is why I like the gallons because it's a lot easier to fill it up and a lot easier to move it. You don't get, your arm doesn't get as tired when you're up in here holding it. Full two gallons in. Now I gotta put that last gallon in there, guys. You guys can see I don't even have to stand on the tire now because that's why I like the gallon so much. Now what I'm basically gonna do is put the old diesel oil in these gallons and I'm gonna throw them away. That is how to drain and fill your oil. It looks a little bit dirtier than usual. So now I'm gonna be talking about all the other things that has gone wrong with the 7.3 and what I had to do to replace it. I had a bunch of stuff blow up, so I wanna show you guys exactly what went wrong, what blew up, and then we'll go ahead and show you guys how I fixed it and also what I needed to fix it. So let's jump into it. You guys have seen 
between all the maintenance that I did on the 7.3, we did an oil change, we did an oil filter. Now I'm gonna show you the aftermath of everything that went wrong. I have about five or six things that actually broke on the 7.3 that I had to fix, and it was directly related to racing. So I'm gonna break those down for you guys and what I did to fix them right now. The first thing that broke on my 7.3 Power Stroke is my alternator belt. Yeah, we can just conclude it right here. It snapped? Yes. Where? Holy shit. The belt snapped, right? God damn it. I knew, I had a feeling something was gonna happen. Is it my alternator belt? Holy fucking shit. I know I was getting a lot of comments that said it's not an alternator belt, but that's what I call it, so deal with it. And I don't really give a shit because there's only one belt on the 7.3 and this is it. So whatever you wanna call it, you know what I'm talking about. But this broke off and I actually had to fix it. And I think it was due to extreme heat and it just got really hot and broke. This is the wrench I had to use. I had to actually go and buy this from AutoZone. So it's a half inch and half inch breaker bar. And you have to get up in there, pull it down. This hose right here, you cannot put this alternator belt on if you have this hose on. So it won't work that way. You got to pull this whole, whole hose off. That's what I went ahead and did. It is super hot. So make sure you guys either have gloves, pliers of some sort to get the clamps off. And once you're done with that, I mean, you can pretty much slap the belt on. The belt diagram is right here, how you put it. And then it's good to go from there. The next thing guys was my radiator. When my alternator belt blew up, it poked a hole in my radiator and it started leaking coolant. So in order to fix that, I just put some stop leak in it. I know a lot of people were roasting me in the comments saying that I should never put stop leak in my thing, but it was an emergency situation and I am going to be flushing the whole system. I'm also buying a new radiator here after my injectors that'll be on the channel next for you guys that is the next thing that happened it poked a hole down at the bottom of the radiator and started leaking coolant everywhere i'll show you guys the stuff i used here stop leak right here i mean it's nothing like too crazy but one bottle of this did the trick and everything's still running fine there's no leaks once i get my new radiator in i'm gonna film a video for you guys and we're gonna do a full changing of that upgrading the radiator the next thing is my intercooler piping that actually flew off whenever i was racing one time so i was hauling ass and i hit a big ass bump and my whole entire intercooler going to the turbo popped off and i wasn't gaining any boost i was actually getting negative boost and rolling coal everywhere. I was able to fix that. I'll roll some of the footage of me fixing that right now. Damn. Oh, the rough. I lost my fucking rear view mirror, guys. That was wild. I figured out why I was losing to that 7.3 just a little bit ago. So what happened, guys, was intercooler pipe fell off. This one actually did, so I wasn't building up any boost. So Edge CTS3 monitor actually helped me locate this. Saw that the boost was at negative one. So you guys can see right here the pipe, it actually fell off right here. I'll put up a video. All right, boys, I was freaking out because I wasn't getting any boost at all, but I figured out the issue. Since it fell off, we weren't building up any boost. And I had a boost leak and pretty much we were rolling coal everywhere, but we were not building up any boost and catching up to him. So we would have actually blown him out of the water if our, we didn't have a boost leak. That's kind of the main reason we lost that 7.3. Now that you guys have seen me fixing that, that is another thing that I had to deal with when I was racing. I am going to get a better hose clamp, put some better clamps on there just so that way it doesn't fall off again. So there's a lot of other things too, guys, that kind of have been happening while I've been racing it. I do have some wheel bearing issues on my tires just because I do have bigger tires. And when I haul ass, it's not the best for it. So that is another issue. It's not directly caused from racing, but it is racing. It doesn't make it any better. Another thing that I got to fix here in the future is my brakes get worn down a lot faster. I just put new brakes on there about two months ago and they're already starting to squeak and sound bad. So I need to really change out those rotors on there just because they're not really good. Racing and slamming on those brakes at the end of the race when I'm at, coming in at the end of the track is not the best for it, but that is another thing that gets worn out pretty quick when I'm racing so much. All in all guys, it isn't the best idea to race a 500,000 mile vehicle like my 7.3 Power Stroke, but it gets the job done. It makes good content for you guys and I don't mind it at all i'll fix the things every here every here now and then for the channel anyways so it's kind of a win-win if i break something i fix it and i film it for you guys once again if you guys want to pick up seven dot tree merch it'll be down below and remember guys at 10k subs we're visiting all you guys 48 stage driving around hopefully the 73 makes it and we're putting in a new turbo the injectors have been ordered i ordered them today actually or yesterday from the full force diesel website so we're working with them to get these injectors in i ordered stage 1.5 180 cc injectors so a little bit of an upgrade once again these are original injectors that i have in here so they have five hundred thousand miles on the original injectors which is actually crazy but those should be in next week around wednesday make sure you guys subscribe to see that video without further ado if you guys want to watch other badass 7.3 content you guys can up here or down there and peace out guys